Welcome trainers, Patrick Head Trainer, Trading123.net. In this video, we're going to show you our settings we use each and every day to trade with the Auto Trader. Now, these are the settings that are used for trading the NQ. It's very simple. You basically have a time setting, how many contracts you're going to trade, profit targets, profit and loss goal, and trail stop if you want to use it or break even. That's it. There's no ATR range that you need to know and put in to configure how the market's going to trade that day or volatility or anything else. It's all, all that other stuff you don't need. It's garbage. So basic settings here. First, first parameter setting is the trend setup. Basically, these are your defaults for trading longs and shorts. I always have those checked. Then we get to the time filters. Basically, I set it to trade from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Box is checked, so it'll trade those times. There's two other boxes. So these would be used, like, say, if you wanted to trade afternoon, or this would be, say, maybe pre-market, open, then afternoon trading. You can set up three different trade times. But it's a lot easier just to use this default. When strategy's ready, just turn it on and it's ready to go. Then the dynamic exits, basically, if you wanted to scalp and say for after eight bars, exit to trade, 16 bars, 20 bars, whatever, it would exit to trade for you. So it's up to you if you want to use that. I prefer, prefer using the profit targets here. So then the enter, entry quantity, you have four four quantities you can enter. So if I'm trading three contracts, I could put three in here and these are all zeros, or I could go one, one, one. And I prefer to trade three contracts and get out at profit targets. Now, like in a tight range, you could put three contracts and get out at 10, 10 ticks. So it's totally up to you. So right now in the current market conditions, I use this every day for the past probably two months or more, three contracts. Uh, for you that are larger contract traders, you could put three here, two, two, or three, two, three, whatever combination you want. It's your choice. You're in control of your profits and your trading. So then we go up here to profit targets. So basically on the NQ, first profit target I find that works good is 14. We lock in some profits. And then whatever I have set here is the first one. Times it by 2 is 28. And then the third profit target goal I leave as 0 as that's a runner. And so it'll trade the full trend until the stop takes us out or the trend changes. So again, it's totally up to you what you want to do, but this is what I use each and every day. The runner works very well, gets you some extra gains, because if you put, say, 40 here and it goes 60, you're you know, going to miss out on 20, 20 ticks. The next setting is the stop loss. So basically right now the market volatility is a little higher, so we're using a 20 in the NQ. We usually use a 15. So 20 is the current one due to volatility. And you got to make sure these boxes are checked, otherwise it won't use the parameter. So the break even's there if you want to use it, but I don't use it. I prefer the trail stop. Break even just seems to get in the way no matter what setting. It'll come down, hit your break even, and then take off, and you miss out on the profits. Trail stop, I find, works a lot better. So basically, I have the box checked. It, it, it trades after 15. It kicks in after 15 ticks and trails by, you know, I like to use 19 or 20, depending on the volatility. It may go up to 22, 23 at the most. Again, this is what's working for me right now. And then the profit and loss goal, max gain 500, loss 320. You got to make sure these are checked because if they're unchecked, it's just going to trade and trade and trade. And you don't want that. And then the rest of the settings are pretty much just basically default. Don't have to worry about them. Don't have to 
waste any time trying to adjust them or figure them out because it's all just a complete waste of time. These are the main settings you have to worry about, and that is it. Now let's get on to the day's trades. Okay, so here's the first trade of the day on August 28th, Friday, 2020. Like I said, we're there's our settings that we're using in the box here down at the below. below. And when the auto trader is up and running, it'll plot these on the chart. This gold line right here, vertical line, will plot when you started it, and then the buttons will appear, and then the labels up here. So you know you're ready, and then the background will appear. So the market's trending up. I shut the shorts off. We catch the long, hits the first two profit targets. Stop takes us out a little early, saves us some profit, trend change. Down it goes, and goal hit. $470 profit on six trades, 100% wins. So as you see, the settings work pretty well. Let's move on to the next trade. Well, here's a, a quick trade from the prior day, the 27th, same settings. Basically, same pattern repeats. We get in on a pullback, market goes up, first two profit targets hit. And as you see, our runner keeps going up, trail stops right here, and we hit our goal. That's the way it's done. So with the market trending up, like I said, it just takes about 20 to 30 seconds to unable the strategy and enable the button again, wait for it to load, and we're ready to go. We started in a downtrend, and basically trend change, auto trader gets long. Our stop is taken out on this little pullback here. And then no worries because of the next trend change, we'll catch the downtrend and our goal is hit. This sold off really nice. And so we had six trades and with a little slippage, $540 profit. Now slippage does happen now and then, but it's nothing to be concerned about. So we're still in the first hour, first half hour of trading and the market is trending up. And the market's been rallying all week, going up, up, up. If you haven't been paying attention, look at the chart. Up, up, up we go each day. So basically, same same thing. We get in, start the auto trader on a pullback, trend change. First two targets are hit. And our trail stop goes up nicely and gets us out right near the highs and then it gets short we get stopped on a little whack play there whack-a-mole and uh, you know I could have shut the sh shorts off but you never know what's gonna happen because you know like a couple weeks ago I'd shut the shorts off and then the thing would just sling to the downside and miss 30 ticks and then you have to wait for the rebound so just 98% of the time leave them on trade both ways so basically we catch a trend change profit targets go up and the goals hit another nice trade using the same settings so that's our third trade of the day all winners and our goal is 2k a day with the auto trader in the NQ simply going for 500 goals on each trade because you will have if you set it for a thousand you'll have a lot more trades than you would just doing it the way I'm doing it, getting in on these pullbacks and letting it trade, letting it do its work while you sit back and manage the trade, watch it. And let the software do its magic. So let's look at the last trade. Okay, here we are on the fourth trade of the day. First three winners, this is our fourth trade. Like I said, after the third one, we like to take a break, see what the market's gonna do after 10 o'clock. Give it some room to breathe, beat itself up. You know, just take a break from trading, watch the charts, see what the overall trend is doing. And basically the market's been going up all week, like I said, and we're still going higher. NQ's going to the highs. 
So same pattern repeats. We get in on a pullback, gets long, goes up, hits its targets. Auto trader gets short on a trend change, targets hit, trail stop working nicely, and then a reversal. Auto trader long, and our goal is hit on nine trades, 100% winners, and we got $495 profit. That's the fourth trade of the day. We hit our 2K profit. No need to keep trading. It's totally up to you. But it's Friday. And usually after 11 o'clock, the volume slows down as we're in the last week of the holiday trading for the summer and moving into the Labor Day weekend. So again, you got to have discipline. Take your profits and run or keep trading and maybe get chopped up and lose half of it. What are you going to do? You traded for an hour. You made nice gains. I would stop, come back the next day and do it again. So those were the settings we use. We use them each and every day. They work very well. It's not too complicated. Very easy to set up with the auto trader. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you follow us on our social media, on Twitter and Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for trading tips and videos like this one. This is Patrick Head Trader. Hope you have a good day. We'll see you in the next video.